shoulder pain, posture problems. In this video, we're gonna show you the correct order to do a shoulder mobility session. We're gonna show you how to create space, how to gain control of your shoulders, how to improve your thoracic mobility with strength, and how to make your shoulder joints happier and healthier than they ever have been before, so you never run into problems again. First thing we need to do is get the upper back moving well. If you're locked down here, then any other exercise that you do will not be as effective. So we need to get that moving first. Jenny here is doing a movement called the zenith rotation. So she's on an all fours position. She sent her hips back to try and minimize the lower back movement. And then she chooses a hand to keep anchored to the floor. And she imagines here that she's trying to wring herself out like a wet towel. She goes as high as she can first, takes a big deep breath into the ribs, and then as she breathes out, she tries to go further. She stays where she is, takes another big deep breath in, and then tries to go further, and then one last time, big deep breath in, and tries to go further. And she then repeats that on the other side. So there'd be no point in her just doing reps um, willy-nilly and just trying to go to where she currently can. We want more range. We want to get the thoracic spine moving so the shoulder blades can move better. So that's why we pause at the top, Big breath in and then breathe out and rotate and make sure your neck here is nice and relaxed in this position. Next thing we wanna do is make sure that we can actually control the shoulder blades. So Jenny is doing scap circles here. We're gonna break this down for you guys first of all. So we wanna check all the motions of the shoulder. So Jenny's gonna protract and retract first. So you notice here when she protracts, the shoulder blades come down and around. And when she retracts, they come together. Then the other variations you have is elevation and depression. So practice those first, make sure you've got a nice smooth motion with those so you're going up and down and forwards and backwards. All the circle is, is trying to go through those points in a nice rotation. So you should see loads of lovely scap movement here. Jenny's going with the backwards rotation right now and this is how it should look. She's not bobbing her head up and down as she does that so we don't just want to see the neck moving and she's also not bending the elbows. We don't want to see those elbows bending as you're trying to make this motion. You're trying to dissociate your elbows from your shoulder blades essentially. So Jenny's going here still with the, or she's going forwards now. So you're going to be doing 10 forwards and 10 backwards in the circuit. The more you practice these, the smoother, smoother they'll get and you'll wonder how you ever lived before them. So it's really important you're able to do controlled circles with your scaps. To add strength to the upper back as well and to get some nice pulling, we use a banded pulling rotation. So we've opened up with the zenith. This is how we add strength to that. So Jenny is pulling and rotating at the same time here. And she really focuses on dragging that elbow back and squeezing her shoulder blade back at that end position. So by improving this, it's gonna help with your overall mobility to go above the head as well. So we do this on both sides. Lastly, we use the banded shoulder dislocate. Your shoulders love large ranges of motion. What Jenny's doing here is going up, reaching up, and then she lets her palms come down backwards in this position, getting a nice stretch along the bicep. Then she wraps the band around herself and squeezes in so she feels the pecs up here activate. And she brings it up, she reaches up, lets the shoulder blades elevate as much as she can, and lets them come back down, and then she pulls them back around, and she should feel her lats here in this back position. So it's really important you're getting as much range of motion as possible, and make sure you get that turn at the top of the palms. Don't keep your hands like this the whole time, otherwise you're not gonna be getting that nice external rotation of the shoulders. You can use this as a really effective upper body warm up, or if you're having issues with your shoulders, you can up it to five rounds and use it as a stand alone session. Just always focus on good quality reps. If you want more shoulder loveliness, then make sure to check out our favorite follow along with Jenny. It's 26 minutes long and it will make your shoulders feel absolutely awesome. Have aches and pains anywhere else? Make sure to head over to our website, tommorrison.uk and check out the simplistic mobility method for a full body mobility approach.